Hello class. Uh, today's lesson is a lesson on biodiversity, specifically calculating biodiversity using a Simpsons diversity index. Just a quick review of diversity. Uh, diversity, the, the real basic explanation is it's, it represents, biodiversity represents this variety of life in ecosystems. How many different um, combinations of plants and animals do we have in a specific area or ecosystem. So it's really a combination of two components. Um, those two main components are evenness and richness. Okay, So we do need to understand the difference. Your diversity scores you calculate are going to be based on the evenness of the sample. The more even it is, the more diverse it is. Um, and also richness. The more rich it is, the more diverse it is. So we're looking at this diagram here. We're trying to see this is a low diversity, and this would be high diversity. And you can see why that is. So each shape represents a different species, and then they're present in higher numbers here. So there's more of them, and they're evenly distributed, which makes this high diversity to low. Um, so based on the numbers we sample in an ecosystem, um, we'll end up seeing changes in diversity. In general, richness um, being the different species that we find, so how many different species are there, and evenness, how evenly spread out they are. Our Simpsons Diversity Index is going to take into account uh, both richness and evenness in the calculations. So we're given this um, formula that we don't necessarily need to memorize here, but we do need to be able to apply it and also use the answers to determine which region is more diverse. So using this, um, basically we, we want to have just a, a quick edit here, but one minus the summation of all of this. So basically think about this as into big brackets here. Um, I added this extension here so you can see N1 is a different species, N2 is another species that we find. Big N right there is the total number of all species. So that number is going to be the same every little set of the calculation that you do. It's the N1 value that is different um, in each one of these. So the dots are there just to show you that basically you're going to continue that on. If you find a hundred different species, you're going to go all the way to N100. Okay, So we're going to add them all in there. Um, if you find five different species, which is our example here, we'll go all the way to N5. Um, the higher the D value, the more diverse the sample is. All right, so at the end of this, when comparing two samples, the higher uh, diversity score, the more diverse the sample can be. Um, so we'll go through a couple examples here. I'll give you one that's already done, and we'll do another sample together. So looking at this, um, we have all these species here in ecosystem A and B. And we're going to compare the diversity index of both. Um, species 1 in our calculation is N1. This is N2, N3 and 4 and 5. Okay, So that's these values all here. Our small n number of individual species we find. The big N that goes on the bottom is right here. Okay, Big N equals, and then we got to add all these up. Go ahead and add all those up, and you're going to end up with uh, for ecosystem A, 52. Okay. So we won't go through this calculation, but you could double check. Um, when we go through the whole calculation, we get a diversity score of 0 0.148. Okay. So now what are we going to do? Now we have to calculate ecosystem B. Same thing. N1, N2, N3, N4, N5. Um, our big N for this one is going to be different, so we got to add all of these up. Um, so add all those numbers together, and we should get a... Uh, large n value, total number of individuals in the sample is 28, and the diversity calculation we're going to have to do on the, the next slide. So moving on, so we can have a little more space to show work, we're going to go ahead and mark this one up. Again, n1, n2, n2, n3, n4, n5, and then remember the big n equals uh, 28. Alright, so go ahead and in the sample um, apply our equation. So the first thing we do is find our small n1 
and then put it over big N. So we're going to have 5 over 28 and square that plus the next one, which is, we already got 5, so we got 4 over 28 squared plus, and then we just keep on going, 12 12 over 28 square it plus 7 7 over 28 and square that value too. Alright, uh, the next one's 0, obviously 0 divided by 28, we don't need to necessarily include on this one. Um, so we have 4 here that we're going to add up, or first we're going to divide, order of operations, divide those numbers then square them out. Uh, we can round to the third digit um, here. So you get 0 0.032 plus the 4 divided by 28 squared is 0 0.020 plus 12 divided by 28 and then square that value is 0 0.184. So just rounding off to the third digit. Plus 7 divided by 28 squared is 0 0.0 six, three. All right, so we add those up. That equals 0 0.299 Okay, so we have that answer. The total here, now remember in our formula, the D was one minus the summation of all of this. So D equals one minus, basically, all of that. Okay, so all of that equaled 0.299. So 1 minus 0 0.299 uh, equals 0 0.0 or point, sorry, 0 0.701. So this is our score. So 0.701. Uh, is our diversity score. We can clear this and head on back to our comparison. All right, so this is 0 0.701 as our score. Comparing these two, this is more diverse. And you can start to see a little bit why. Um, this really lowers your diversity score in this case because ecosystem A is mostly species 3. You can see that. So this is going to decrease the diversity score. Um, this sample has more uh, richness, so it's more rich, but it is not even. All right. So that's what makes this diversity score decrease. Whereas this sample is less rich, and the reason for that is species 5 is not there, but it is way more even okay so that is the reason that this is going to get a higher diversity score even though there's one less species present the evenness um, is is much greater in this case so this is more diverse ecosystem b more diverse than ecosystem a